I hope that guy that dashed me. <laughs> I was here the whole time. I'm late for work. <laughs> right, put in work. Uh, hello, welcome to Monday Group Monday. Yay! Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, our group left off having a very civil conversation with some very large ogres in a cave. And they made their way, they decided to make their way back to town to see if the town can come to a solution or all get together and, and we have kill the to ogres, speech. depending on how this thing goes. Uh, some people might have mentioned that in front of the ogres. Hmm. Never. Who could have asked them? Thinking. Uh, so, uh, that's where we pick up. Is you guys uh, kind of making your way back to the village. Um, and did you guys sleep yet? Or? We did. Because yes, we, we yeah. checked off a ration. We went. Yeah, that's right. Fine. Yeah, because your your friend there knew one of the stable people in town. Hooked you up with a nice hayloft to crash in for a little bit. And you got fully rested. Um, so your health is back to full. If you had any spells, they're back, um, and you are now free to do. It's morning. So we paid breakfast. We did, we already used our Oh yeah. So yeah, we were calling a town meeting. Yeah, so we went so we door gonna, to door. We were gonna go to door to door and knock on everyone's yeah. door and tell them to meet at noon Can in the town center. Alright. So everyone's going to go knock on doors. Yep. Yeah. And then we're gonna gather at twelve. Yeah. Okay. So so do we fast forward to that point? Yeah, we can narratively fast forward. We'll we'll do the the montage of you guys like, hello, oh, doors opening. So like we'll be like, Ow! and slam the door in your face. And, you know, maybe a little funny, a little whimsical. There's some cheery music playing. Anyway, uh, later we'll say noonish, yeah, ish mm -hmm. around there. Uh, noon rolls around. Uh, there's a, quite a big crowd gathered in the square. Um, there is a kind of centralized platform there <laughs> to where they usually do town meetings so there's a place where you guys stand up and yell or talk or whatever you plan on doing. Uh, so as people see you approaching, the crowd kind of starts to <laughs> see what they want. Uh, they wrote a speech. <laughs> yeah, That's going to be great. All right, so I guess you're leading it off then? Or are you guys? She's got this. <laughs> So they watch as a, a woman dressed in uh, wild hide and, you know, equally wild hair <laughs> kind of makes her way up to the front of the platform. Um, this is going to be good. <laughs> uh, your red hair kind of like frizzed out a little bit, you know, just from sleep. You know, you still got bits of hay in there that you haven't really <laughs> picked out because who cares? It's hay, right? You're, yeah. you, you sleep in the woods. Um, and you got uh, your ears kind of, your ears, I was curious, you, your ears, do you hide it with your hair or is it like kind of, they kind of like come out I a little bit? Them. I hide them. You hide them? Okay, so you're, you're I mean, you still have kind of like the features-ish of someone who might be elvish, but it's hard to tell without the yeah. point you're giving. Anyway, so you walk up to the stage and what do you say to the people? <laughs> Speak really loudly so they can all hear you in the back. Um, Is she hear. talking yet? <laughs> I can't hear her. <laughs> okay, I'll announce you. Okay, we have come from the Emperor to help solve your food problem and we have found out some information. Uh, in the mention of the Emperor, many of them kind of like nod their heads and bow a little bit and okay. try to respect and deference. Okay. I don't know if you guys do that too or what. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, lady. Okay. Um, people of Nazca, we have found who has been taking your food. But if you think you can make them pay, think again. These aren't ordinary people. These are ogres. So you have two choices. As you soon can... as you say ogres, a lot of people are going to say, oh, I think we're going to do something. Something bad. Something bad. Wish they're going to crush us if we try to stop them. 
But you, you can keep pushing on them. So, like, so you have two choices. You can share your food or you can kill them. But I wouldn't recommend the second choice. <laughs> you, and you hear like murmuring and like, I don't, I don't know. So you hear like, um, one of the one of the farmers in the bag, you know, he's kind of dressed in some. He's like, how much food do they need? They need a lot. Yeah, because there's ogres. They're huge, and they're they're constantly taking food because that's what it takes for them to continue to be fed. And they have been chased away from their homes, and they're kind of scared. Well, it's not them stealing the food, is it? They're having critters. They're take. having little lizard critters taking the food for them. And if they don't give food, then they'll eat the little ones. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How somebody telling me that? Yeah, some person you just pull comes out by. Room. Room. Said, That's on the internet now. All right. <laughs> 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 anyway, we're in a class, believe it or not. All right, so um, yeah. they talk. You hear somebody is like, so we just feed them, and they don't take. Anything else? Like they don't send the lizard people you said? Right, if we feed them. And we were thinking, well, I was thinking, she said we, we should kill them, but I was thinking maybe we should make a peace treaty. And you hear some murmuring, they're like, well, that means we get something out of it too, right? Yeah. What do we get besides feeding them? Peace. Your food won't be getting stolen. You and you'll have some left over. You'll have like half left over. Is the emperor okay with like, you know, they're like, is the emperor okay with this? Like, you know. Why should I take the food? Yeah. God, that would take forever to go do that. At that point, the mayor waddles in. Oh, the mayor has come. Yes. He's actually, you realize he probably left in time to be there, but since he's just been eating and eating and eating, He's only got there now. I say we just kill them and save the food for ourselves. Well, and you hear some of the farmers like, yeah, it's not. We're not getting anything out of this besides having to give them food either way. If you kill them, then you, you or some of the other people in your village will get killed. Because they are armed and they have huge mallet things that can squash you like a bug. So I wouldn't recommend that. There's like, I will put a bounty out on them if that will convince you to fight them. Innocent people will die. And I don't want innocent people to die. There's a protecting their farms. It's. You. Uh, <laughs> somebody in the crowd points to the, you two guys and is like, hey, you guys, you look like fighters. What do you think? Should we fight them or should we try and figure this out? They look at the mayor like, the two armed people say we should try and figure this out. Maybe we, we don't stand that much of a chance. The mayor's like, they're just cowards. Uh, what? We are not cowards. What was the agreement we made? Sorry, we are not loud mouth chickens. cowards. <laughs> what was the agreement we made? Is it, am I able to get up and probably punch him in the face? <laughs> could, he is, he does have some of those. Yeah, can, I don't care. <laughs> Are you getting down from the stage? And yeah, and I'm going to come up to him, and I'm going to take him by the shirt, and I'm going to be, listen up, buddy! <laughs> As you make your way over there, clearly, <laughs> tend to do something, the guards kind of step between you and him, and kind of just blocking you out. How about I elbow him in the face? They're in between. Yeah. Mila, you're going to hit one of the guards who's just doing their job? Yeah. Oh. Well, I can say, can you please get out of the way? If they don't, and after I ask twice. Like, I'm, I'm really angry right now. One of them angry right over and whispers and says, can we just really with him? But can, can you please get out of the way? 
Just keep talking. It looks like you've got some more, most of them on your side. Just keep ignoring them and do what you're trying to do. But we don't want to see the way to get hurt either. Okay. Can I punch a wall then? <laughs> sure. Are you like transforming while you do it or just like... No, I'm just angry. Okay. Um, roll 2d6 and add your strength. I just want to see if you hurt your hand. <laughs> Yeah. She's a three. Three, yeah, you definitely, you, you uh, could, and your knuckles like start throbbing immediately. Oh, I punched before, so. you so. take one point of damage. Oh, one yeah. point of damage in my hand. Yeah. I mean, it's already starting to bruise up. And yeah, it's fine. Really? Okay. Right. Yep, I'm worse than the plastic. <laughs> oh, my God. So one of the part, one of the ones that spoke to you, when you said the peace tree, one of them was like, well, can't we get, I mean, can't they do something for us? Like if we're giving them food, can that can we have them do a job or something instead of just sitting in the cave? Could they, could they serve as some sort of protector or? They could serve as a like I don't know. Do they have do you, do do you guys have enemies or do you have people that come and try to bother you other than the situation? There's some talking and there was like, well, I mean, there's the mines, but I don't think they'll fit down there. Sound sounds like. <laughs> um, you, but there's like, what about, and then someone like, what about the bandits out in the woods? Oh yeah, we did. Um, like, couldn't we just send them out, and, like, or just protect the town, or like, yeah. walk the road or something? But some, some of the people were forced to go in there because they were losing food and they needed money. And food. And some shelter. Well, if they're smart, then when they see the ogres come in, they'll quit that life and come back. Alright, so would you like us to go and talk to the ogres about this? Sure. Is that what you're doing? Like, yes. Yeah, we were going yes. to come back anyway. Days, and if, they, if not, they're going to come back. And we're supposed to be bringing food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, crap. Uh, yeah, we we the, the mayor says, what more food? How are you already bringing them more food? Are you going to take my lunch next? No. How about I do that? Probably Somebody in the crowd goes, yeah, take his lunch. No. Because it looks like you've had a, another 200 pounds. So how can... dare you? Well, how dare Guards. you? Oh, it's Do they even free. come come near me? They start walking towards you. The one that was talking you just like shaking his head. Some of the farmers say, you can take some of our, you know, our crops. Just, you know, don't need to measure it. We'll go measure it out and bring it to you. We'll bring it back in an hour. Okay. We'll, we'll meet. We'll be here waiting for you. Be back in an hour. I'll okay. be punching You see back. a group of them kind of <laughs> head out to their, their terrace farm. Um, and then you, uh, about an hour passes. Are you guys doing anything, anything in the meantime? The mayor is waddled back to his house. I'm going to go back to the barn and punch some haystacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they don't hurt as much as a wall. No, they don't. So. Just, like, um, but your hair is You guys, the, the barn is, they're the, the stables and too far away, so you hear like inarticulate animal like screams and you see hay flying out the windows occasionally. Like, <laughs> 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 you're playing in this like chaotic good thing that you gotta go. Uh, anyway. I have angry shoes. Okay. <laughs> so this nature sometimes. Alright, uh, about an hour later the guard, or the, the farmers come back. They deliver your food and you can head out to the elders so you head there directly or Yeah, we've got to get started. One more time. I don't remember how long it took us to get back from there, but we don't know. It was a couple to... hours, but Okay, so and it's daylight so it's past noon now, so it's gonna get dark eventually, so we need to start heading that. Yeah, by the time you get there it's probably gonna be like three ish or okay. so you guys, right. you know, make good time, you're walking. Um, so you head out. Um, is your friend still coming with you? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Kula uh, goes with you and he's like, you know, if you do get these ogres to come out, I can go back to the camp and tell the people, the farmers, and not the people that have switched over to get out before this starts happening. I can try and get them out of the way and that'll help ease your conscience about that a little bit. Well, we are more trustworthy about them, so I think... Yeah, but we need to see if the ogres are even going to go with this idea. I yeah. may just want to sit and eat. As you approach the cave, it's pretty quiet. Um, the lizard people seem to be kind of nocturnal, so they're not out here today. Uh, they probably know. So you walk in and um, you make your way around the bends and there. You enter that big, large area. Um, there's nothing really happening. You hear some. What? Snoring? Yeah. 
you're sleeping. Um, That's Kiki. I think she's worn herself out. Do you want to call <laughs> out? Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Okay. Are you um, calling out? Yeah, probably. So then I'll call out for ogres. Am I still hearing some snoring going on? Uh, it's mostly the, you see her small, you don't hear the big, like, if you heard an ogre snoring, it's fine now. So you, you hear, then you hear the, Return. Yes, and we have come and and to you have food. We do, and we, we want to discuss. Give. Well, Hold well, on. Wait a second. Yeah. We want to. Like you see them kind of grip the club a little bit. Just a few more minutes. We need to discuss talk. some things with you before we pass the food over. Um. We're gonna give you food either way. But. One of the things the village people. No, not village people. Every time, one of the things that people want to talk about is the fact that they're going to give you food, but they need something back from you. So they were thinking, how about you protect them from the bandits? And they give you food. <laughs> they look and they look at each other and they look back and be like, where, where are the bandits? In the woods? They were in the woods, but there's also a road. Like a path. There was a path They, 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 they go, oh, woods. woods down, not over where we're from. No, no, no. No. Here. Uh, Here. If you could you just, just want us walk through and crush bandits? Yeah. Yes, but we are going to have... And the people will make sure that you have food. Yes. No, no. You just don't send out little lizard critters. And you just walk and protect and they'll feed you. So we don't need li little lizard creatures anymore? No, you can, you can eat them. It'll be your next meal. <laughs> wow, that's cold for blood. Well, let's just... For lizard people. Just <laughs> tell... All right. Um, they, they tried to kill her also. They, I'm they tried to kill me. So they, they, <laughs> they, they, you hear them grumbling and talking kind of in their bolder, like rolling language. And they're like, food like this each day. Mm-hmm. And we, where we get food, town, here. Maybe they could m meet you on the path with it. Yeah. In, on way from cave to, to town? Yep. Oh. Well, well. We, we agree. We, okay. we crush puny little humans mm -hmm. and then we get food for crushing humans. Yes. But, and the other one goes, not village humans. No. no. Bandits, no. bad people. Bandits. Bandits in forests, in woods? Yep. Yes. They'll try, they'll probably think that you're people just walking, but then when they come out, they'll probably be scared of the body. And they're like, we just crushed them, nobody come after us? Nope. And they will start. This <laughs> <laughs> like, my dream has come true. We agree. Okay. Tell people in village every day, we meet halfway, get food, and then go to woods down path. Okay. All right, so we're going to give them the food, and they we're going to leave. And, and then, then they, they look up, and they, like, and then you hear them as you're leaving go, little ones. We oh, have a job dear. for you. <laughs> uh, no. And that was where we stopped today. Nature, give us less food that we have to bring. Yeah. All right. Uh, bye. We'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday's group, and Monday we'll be back. Well, actually, we'll have a hiatus because next week we have a short week of our vacation yeah, break. Yeah, because we have two days. We'll be able to meet next Monday, next week. But these guys will be back right after Thanksgiving, all the way to December. See you later.